That's right guys, we got a new boat! Now, you probably know from the title and thumbnail that this is a brand new Pelican Gateway. And I'm super excited to unbox this boat and take it on the water and test it out. I've been waiting for this boat for a long time. We finally have it right here on the Alex Kaya Flipping Show or garage, whatever you want to call it. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to unbox it, we're going to set it up and I'm going to show you everything there is to know about this boat right now. Disclaimers, this kayak was sent to me by Pelican for me to make videos for you guys. Uh, yeah, I didn't pay for it, but that doesn't mean it's free because dude making videos costs a lot of money and time and look, I even took it's not like a vacation because I, I just, I, I have to. I have to take a vacation from YouTube. But I'm back now. But anyways, we got, we're gonna use my fillet knife to unbox this boat. Uh, Danko knife, highly recommend. I'm gonna put a link below. Uh, Amazon link, affiliate link. When you buy it through them, we get a little bit of commission that helps to make these videos. Let's start with this seven inch fillet knife. Why not? Oh my God, look at this. I gotta be careful with this pointer thing. Good thing I'm the only one here today. No one is here. Go over here. Uh oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Damn. All right. No worries, we're gonna clean all this thing up nicely. Man, <laughs> nothing better than using a fillet knife, but just be careful with it. This thing is sharp. Serious. I'm gonna go through here. Look at this. <laughs> what? Isn't this thing, it's looking amazing. I, I love the blue. You know what? It is looking amazing because it's blue. And blue is my favorite color for kayaks. And you have that two-tone blue and white. Looking pretty amazing right now. And I love the flat area here. I'm gonna take the camera pretty soon. I'm gonna give you a close-up what through of all the parts, everything that this boat has to offer. Let me bring this down here. Now, before we continue, a lot of people hate on Pelican because of this. Dude, this is probably the strongest built kayak there is. Why? Because right here where these two seam meet, that's the strongest part because it's like you melt two pieces together and it, it becomes super strong. Now, the amazing thing with this type of technology to build kayaks is that you could put foam in places where normally with a rotor molded kayak you won't be able to. So that's why this thing is tough everywhere pretty much because they put foam on it. A lot of people hate on this type of kayaks for no reason at all. They don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm here to tell you that this thing is strong. Let's talk about the seat. Look at this seat right here. Cool stuff. Has a pocket right here in the rear. Actually, two pockets. So you could put a little tackle tray or maybe some sort of pliers or whatever you need to. And this match, look, you can see that this is not their premium seating, but this thing is it's not gonna get super, it's not gonna get wet, like it's not gonna stay wet. It's gonna get wet, but it's not gonna stay wet. And you're gonna be able to drain it quickly and your butt is not gonna be wet. And I'm super excited to take this on the water, test it out and give you a full review. All that will be coming soon. Nice Pelican logo right there. Smells good. Of course we got the drive here. This is the Pelican High Drive 2. Now, this drive is way stronger than the original one. Of course, you're always gonna have problems with anything. Hobie drive break, old fin style drive. If you hit rocks, if you hit something, they're gonna break. But this one is a newer version. We're gonna test it out. Now, right here, we got the rear of the boat. And we got some sort of protection here. Let's check it out, good. Look at the rudder system. We're gonna, oh, look, the cabling. Everything is here. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this up right now. The beauty with this thing, and, and I'm gonna try to do this without looking at the instructions, is that this right here is your, look at this, steering control. The amazing thing with this is that you can put it on your left or right. And you see the channels here? Hmm. All right, oh look, and you can easily remove it. Oh my God, this is cool. This is actually pretty cool. Let's go right here in the middle, the channel. 
go one, and then the second one, two, to be able to do it. There you go. And then just hold it there. Now, I think it's meant to go forward. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this right here. Oops, that was easy. And it will go back here, just like that. Make sure it's all the way down. And just bolt it down right here. Not easy. Now, the awesome thing here is these. This is one of the easiest ways to put a rotor attachment. And all you have to do is, this will go through here. Oh, I need more tools. I need to find tool for that. And remember, Drill slowly. That should do it. And then I'm gonna put this through. You gotta give it enough clearance so the cabling goes through. Boom. And right here, the same thing on the other side. Boom. And then it's gonna go through. I think I'm good there, or I am. And you want that to be pointing straight. Right now, go ahead and pull this. Okay, so now that we have it, let's go and tie this up nicely, all the way. Let's go ahead and bring the rotor down and give it a try. Let's go. I don't see a way of bringing that rotor down unless you have it down. Like before you get on the water, just bring it down yourself. There's not a way to bring it down from, from the sitting position. But let's take a look and see if we can turn. Oh yeah, we can turn. Sweet. All right guys, let's assemble this boat so I could give you a proper walkthrough. This is the drive HD2. It just goes in there like that. Make sure it goes all the way down and lash it down. Now, I would highly recommend putting a string or something so in case you flip and that fall off, you don't lose it. You could just attach it to one of these iPad pad eyes right here. Now, we got a seat. Let's put the seat in here. Look at this, it's gonna go right here. And it's in. And I think there is something to hold it. Yeah, there's this little thing right here. Look at this, this thing is looking amazing now. But I think, I think we're missing something. We're missing something. Look, it is not a fishing machine without a some rod holder or something. So let's go ahead and get a rod holder, put it in there, put a rod, and give you a full walk through this boat. But before we do that, I wanna mention something. Look at that. Make sure you don't hit anything with that drive. Make sure you read all the instructions right here to be safe on the water and not break your fancy new drive. Because this thing breaks, they break. Not because they're bad, it's because they break, everything breaks. And if you hit something, it's gonna break. But guess what? Pelican is giving you a spare rods. That's huge. This is actually huge. If one of those breaks, all you have to do is take it out and put a new one in. Since we don't have rod holders on this boat because it's not a fishing boat, we got solutions. Rod glasses to the rescue. We're gonna go ahead and put um, some of these accessories here. It's easy. They're easy to put in. I think I may want to put this one on the other side. Maybe I want to put a corner or something. I'm going to put this one here. Here. And now the amazing thing with this two pro holder is that it could go all the way up or it could go to, a, to the side. It could go anywhere. So right now I could just put it there. And then I could move it back or move it up. All that stuff. I need to see how I'm going to handle this. I'm probably gonna take two rods anyways. One is gonna be on the holder, the other one is gonna be my hand. Cause we have hands-free fishing. All right guys, who's ready for a walkthrough of this crazy, amazing looking little boat? Look at this thing, look at this thing. We're ready to go, I'm ready to go. Look, this is the Pelican Gateway. It's sort of like a paddleboard meets a kayak. That's my opinion. And it comes with a drive. Hands-free fishing if you want to, or if you want to just take a little dog with you, put it right here in the front. You have space, it's flat, you can put a cooler, you can put a bunch of stuff there. So let me give you a little walkthrough. See this right here? This, it came like that, okay? We're gonna fix, oh actually, sorry, it fixed. Boom. 
uh, with shipping and stuff like that things like this is gonna happen so i wouldn't worry too much about that i see a lot of people posting online oh look it has a scratch i hope they could make it better for me like come on dude come on a little scratch you take it out one time it's gonna look worse but look at this this is a standard pelican dry well it's pretty much an all other kayak the catch series it comes with this little drive right here and the great thing about this is that you could even put a bisp in here believe it or not these drives they're really rigid when they come out of the factory but you could adjust them uh, check the pelican video that is going to tell you exactly how to adjust them another thing i like about this drive is look at this if you have boots you could just flip it around and use it like this if you have boots or if you want to just use it with a padding you could do so this one i think it needs a little bit of glue i'm gonna look into that later because it needs a little glue anyways okay let's move on you see right here the name pelican gay weight 110 and right here in the front you can see that you have two pot eyes you could put a bungee cable right here and maybe put a paddle underneath the bungee cable and it's gonna hold it down that's huge and also look at this indentation right here um even though this is not a fishing boat per se i think they did it with that in mind because look at that it sort of holds it right here and again if you have a bungee cable just put it over and it's gonna hold your rod or just get one uh, rod holders like I did here. We're gonna take this on the water tomorrow and we're gonna see exactly how it performs and we're gonna give you, of course, we're gonna give you a final review at the end when we finish with everything. Here's the sitting. I haven't sat on the seat yet, but look at that. Look at the seat. Nice seat because it looks nice and it feels good and it smells good too. So awesome. Now look at this beauty right here. This thing turns on a dime and the amazing thing here is that you could put it on your left or you could take it on the right. Now, if this camera focus, you can see that I have this one already occupied, but if I wanna change it, I could, it's easy. It's easy to do. And the seat is held down by that bungee cable right there. So if something happens, it should, be, um, it should be good. Now, I don't see any movement here. So that's huge, pretty cool stuff. I really like this handles, giant handles in the middle because you could put lines through it to hold it when you put it on your fancy truck. Pay off truck by the way, finally pay that off. Thanks God. And, <laughs> and you could hold it down and also it's dual purpose. A handle and also serves as a gear track and you could put road holders, camera mount, all that stuff. Pelican premium plastic. Oh, look at this. This is a nice bungee cable right here. You could put a nice cooler right on the back and it should not interfere with the rudder lines because you see, it's very deep right here. Whatever you put in here should not interfere with that. And of course you got the rudder. And look at this underneath. Wow, can't wait to take this on the water and give it a proper test. Of course you got this fancy, fancy <laughs> drain plug right here. The logo Pelican Premium, nice. Now let me give you sort of like a walkthrough underneath how it looks, look at that. Look at the bottom. I hope this camera is focusing, but that's how it looks on the bottom of the boat. Let me see if it's focusing. Oh yeah, it is. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, sweet. It's a very simple boat, very smartly designed, I may add. The rudder, when you're transporting it, just have it right here on top, hold it down. When you're on the water, bring it down. Boom, and it's there. And if, if you're gonna hit something, you're just gonna kick out and then go down again. So wouldn't worry about that at all. Let's talk about specs because people love to talk about specs. This boat holds 300 pounds. 300 pounds? I mean, I'm like, what? Uh, I don't know, 200? So it's not designed for a heavy person, 300 pounds. It's not a lot, but hey, you can make it work. We're gonna be testing its stability. We're gonna be testing capacity all that stuff coming up soon also this boat is 10 feet long by 5 inches that's why they round it up that's why that's why they say it is a 110 even though it's really 10 and a half it's not 11 so but the best part of this boat is that it only weighs 59 pounds and you could also see that the boat is 33 inches wide and it's 10 and a half feet long 59 pounds and i wonder if i'm gonna be able to stand up and fish out of this thing dude there's so many amazing videos in this channel. You should go and check 
every one of them out. You're gonna have a blast watching them. And uh, I hope that you have subscribed for the Pelican series because this thing is gonna be epic. And if, if this is like three months later, hey, all those videos are gonna be out. So go and check them out. And don't forget, hit like, because the robot is hating me. I don't know, it, does the robot hate me because I'm Cuban? Maybe. The robot, the YouTube algorithm, whatever you wanna call it, it's a robot and it hates me for whatever reason. So I really need your help. Click like. And if you dislike the video, click dislike twice. It helps a lot, trust me. <laughs> All right, let's go.